In this video, we'll learn how to use a tool that honestly used to make me laugh. It's the pencil tool. And if you've used Photoshop's pencil tool before, you know what I mean. Like who uses this and for what? But Illustrator's pencil tool is fantastic. Let me help you understand why. First of all, the keyboard shortcut for the pencil tool is N because it's nifty and it's neato and it's gnarly, which doesn't start with N, but you know what I mean. So you can also find it over here on your toolbar. So, so far, all the shape tools that we've seen have been used to create closed shapes, but this time we're gonna be using the pencil tool to create open shapes. Essentially, that means we're gonna be drawing lines. So when I'm working with open shapes, especially lines, I'm thinking about the stroke color, not the fill color, because in most cases, open shapes have their fill set to none. So I'm gonna set the fill to none, and for the stroke, I'm gonna choose a light color, maybe like this beige right here. The pencil tool has some really neat settings that can be super helpful. And in Illustrator, one of the ways that you can access settings for any particular tool is to double click on it in the toolbar. So let's take a look at the nifty pencil options by double clicking. And here we can see all kinds of different options. The one that we're gonna focus on right now is called Fidelity. To help us draw really nice, smooth lines that don't look like we've been mainlining caffeine all day, let's take the slider and drag it all the way to the right. And we'll click OK. So I'm gonna pick one of these pots on this bottom one here, and I'm gonna just click and drag to draw a series of three lines, like preschool level art here. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag and let go. And I'll start here and click and drag and let go and click and drag and let go. We wanna make sure that the lines we draw go well past the pot. So don't try to end exactly on the pot. It's actually much easier to just go past it because as you can expect, we're gonna buzz it off in a minute. Now, if you make a mistake, of course you can delete it or you could press Command and Control Z to undo it. But remember that we also have that adjustment arrow, the direct selection tool whose keyboard shortcut is A for adjust. So for example, I'm gonna press Command plus to zoom in here a bit. I don't, I don't really like where I ended up with this line. It's crossing this one so close to the edge, it's not noticeable. So if I wanna move this line, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna click right on this endpoint so that this is selected and the other one's not. And then I'm gonna pull it up this way so that I have some space here. And that is much better. So you can always adjust things with your direct selection tool. All right, so now we're ready for the fun part. I'm gonna jump in really quick to point out something. With our open pencil paths selected, we could shift click on the pot to add it to our selection and grab our shape builder tool by pressing shift M, holding down the alt or option key to switch to subtraction mode, we could buzz off these edges and everything looks hunky dory until we go to scale this. And you'll notice that if I scale down the pot, we've got two problems. I'll move it over here so you can see a little better. The weight of our stroke suddenly looks huge. And also we just buzzed it off, but now it's overhanging again. What is up with that? The problem is that we scaled the pot and the open paths that we drew with the pencil, but we didn't scale the live corner effects or the stroke. So let's undo that. There's two ways of dealing with this. One option is we need to tell Illustrator that we want the corners and the stroke to scale along with the pot. We do that from the transform panel, which of course can be found from the window menu under transform. And here you'll notice two options, one to scale corners and another to scale strokes and effects. And now, 
everything looks great. The strokes scaled to maintain the same relative width and the corners scaled so that everything still lines up. The other option is we can expand these strokes. We don't have to, they're not virtual like our shelves and our books were earlier, but it changes the way that Illustrator treats them. So here's what that looks like. The last thing we're gonna do before we buzz all this is actually expand these strokes. Instead of just an open path with a stroke applied to it, we're gonna convert this into a closed shape with a fill. So here's what I mean. I'm going to select all three of these lines. So I'm clicking on one and then you wanna shift click the rest till the three lines are selected. Then we're gonna come up to object and remember our fairy godmother, we're gonna choose expand. So we're gonna tell it to turn the fill and or stroke into shapes. So watch this, so we'll click okay. So see, it's a line with a stroke, but once we click okay, it changes from an open path with a stroke to a long, skinny, noodle-like rectangle that's a closed shape with a fill. So it looks the same, but it behaves a little bit differently. So now with our very important selection tools, let's throw a net over the whole shebang and we'll get our super magical shape builder tool. So remember, super magical means shift M for the shape builder tool. And by default, it wants to unite everything, but we're going to go into buzzsaw mode by holding down option or alt to get the minus. And now we can just buzz right there and buzz right here. And that looks great. And you'll notice if we look up here, this is one of the like rare instances where Illustrator did not group it. Can you believe it? So let's group it ourselves by using the keyboard shortcut, command or control and the letter G for group. So now we have this group. I'm gonna zoom out by pressing command or control and the number zero. Let's switch to our very important selection tool and drag this down here to the shelf. And we're gonna need to make it smaller, at least I do. Your pot might be, might be a better size, but I need to make mine smaller. So to do that, I am shift dragging from the corner to keep it proportional, right? Because otherwise it's gonna get distorted. So that's a look at the nifty pencil tool. And we just used it to draw open shapes in the form of lines. And in order to keep everything looking good when scaled, we can either tell Illustrator to scale the live corners and stroke along with the pot. Or in this case, we expanded the open path with a stroke to turn it into a closed path with a fill. We also saw that here in Illustrator, you can call up the settings for various tools by double clicking on them, which brought us our pencil tool options and we cranked up the smooth setting under Fidelity to make sure that our lines were nice and smooth. And indeed, they look good, right? 